Welcome to this video series about embedded analytics with Tableau. In the next few videos, we're going to look at how you can embed Tableau into your web application. I'm going to look at a few things. I'm going to take a look at, first of all, the theory behind embedded analytics. I'm going to then look at how to integrate a Tableau dashboard into a web page. And we're going to see how we can interact with uh, that particular dashboard through the web page. Um, we're also going to talk about what the benefits are of making your dashboards externally facing. So in this very first video, I am going to talk about what this thing is that is called embedded analytics. We're going to also take a look at some examples that are out there on the internet. And in the next video, uh, because this is uh, going to be multiple videos, uh, we're going to take a look at how you can get set up to, to do this. Um, so we're going to install some tools to do that. I'm mainly going to install a, a text editor. Um, but it's actually a lot easier than you might think embedding a Tableau into a, um, a web page. OK, so one of the requirements for the next videos is uh, that you have a Tableau public account or a Tableau online account. Now, the, uh, the latter, the Tableau online account, can be acquired through the Tableau developer program. Um, you can then get a free Tableau uh, instance. Uh, but we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to that uh, video. Let's first of all talk about what is embedded analytics. Um, and what are the tools and what are the APIs that we actually need to use for this? We're also going to talk a little bit about what the value is of embedded analytics. So I'm here on the official uh, Tableau uh, website um, and there's the, the sub page called embedded analytics. And in here, it kind of gives us a good overview of um, what this thing is, um, this embedded analytics. Now, embedded analytics integrate your data and your dashboards in external facing applications whereas the emphasis is on this external facing so this needs to go to your customers that's like the heading also says it your customers now you probably think like that like a uh, um, many many options to uh, give insights and dashboards to your customers and and that is right um tableau is is one of many products in this list but there are a few reasons why um, tableau can actually help you with this a lot more than the other tools that are out there first of all tableau is as you can see one of the the best uh, business intelligence tools out there so um, by giving dashboards and insights to your customers you're actually leveraging uh, the best um, business intelligence tool out there on the market now, also because Tableau offers this um, intuitive um, self-service and drag and drop functionality, you also get that uh, when you use embedded analytics. Embedded analytics is not a completely different product in Tableau suite. It's literally a Tableau dashboard that you still build with the same tools that you're familiar with, with Tableau desktop. You publish that to a Tableau server or Tableau online. Now, if we scroll a bit further here into the web page, we can see um, some other things like fast to build, faster to market. And this is um, a really good um, kind of selling point of embedded analytics, I think. Because what you can do is, if you're familiar with Tableau, you can get up and running really fast. In the next few videos, we'll take a look at how to integrate a dashboard into a web page. So all you kind of need is the knowledge to, to build out your own kind of custom portal or your own uh, little web page. And if you're really familiar with Tableau, you can get up and running really fast. You don't have to build something from scratch. Uh, you can already connect to the data sources that you have. Um, so that's a, um, a really, good, um, uh, really good point. Now, this is, of course, also fully customizable. Because what you're doing is you're integrating Tableau into a web page. And that web page can be completely designed to whatever you as, as the, the, the actual um, 
company has. So if you have a particular company brand, you can embed a Tableau dashboard into your own brand and you can uh, customize that Tableau dashboard the same look and feel as, as, your, as your brand. Now, um, also what is really good is that you can now start monetizing your dashboards and insights to your customers. A really good example of that is, uh, for example, for market research companies, very often they have external facing uh, reports. Uh, very often people are emailing these out through PDFs, but you can now with embedded analytics can uh, give the uh, customers an, a login to a particular portal and then they can see the insights in a fully interactive dashboard. Now, this is not only interesting for market research companies. We also see this uh, being used um, at a lot of newspaper agencies. So embedding Tableau, as you, what you'll learn and see in the next videos, is um, fairly straightforward. Um, Tableau has several APIs that can help you with that. And uh, lots of newspapers are using that um, as well. Now, one of the other reasons why you should choose Tableau for embedded analytics is that it's very secure. You can choose whatever authentication method you want to use and whatever Tableau also supports. Um, you can, for example, create a single sign-on experience for your users. This means that they don't have to log in to Tableau Server or Tableau Online and they'll be straight into the tool of their liking. You can apply what they call user filtering and user filtering um, allows specific users to see specific data that is only relevant to them. So what you don't have to do is build different workbooks or dashboards for different sets of users. No, you can build just one dashboard and apply user filtering. So that means that if someone logs in and they are only uh, able to see, say, 50% of the data, they see only that side of the data. And you have full control over that. Now, those are kind of the reasons why you should choose embedded analytics. But if you watch this video series, you're also probably interested in some examples. And also in the next few videos, which will be the main um, emphasis of this video series, is learning about how to actually do this. Um, this video series is open to anyone. That means if you have no experience with building websites or web applications, I will start from the absolute basics. If you had years of development experience, you might want to skip one or two videos, but you will still learn a lot about how to embed a dashboard into a website. Now, let's take a look at what you actually need to do embedded analytics. And uh, for that, Tableau has um, this sub uh, page. And what I'll do is I'll put all the resources I mention in um, the show notes, so you will be able to, to access those. And um, Tableau has um, kind of a block of four here. Um, it has a thing called the JavaScript API, REST API, single sign-on, and a thing called the mobile app bootstrap. Now you don't need all of these to get up and running. You could actually get up and running really quickly with um, copy pasting the embed code of a Tableau dashboard. And we'll learn about that in the next video. Now, for a normal deployment of embedded analytics, you definitely want to learn about the JavaScript API, and that will be the main focus of this video series. If you want to do some um, user, um, well, here it says programmatic access to work with the content, user sites, and more, so basically data related to your users, you can use Tableau's REST API. I already mentioned it about the authentication. We also have single sign-on options. Um, in this video series, we'll probably not look at a single sign-on, um, but you can always contact me if you want to learn about that. One thing we're not going to look at is the mobile app bootstrap. Um, this allows you to use Tableau's um, SDK, the Software Development Kit, to integrate Tableau dashboards into mobile applications. Uh, this might be something for a, a separate video in the future. So the one that is very important and will be the main focus of this video series is the JavaScript API. Now we'll learn about that in the next video. Let's actually take a look at some examples of embedded analytics. 
Now, if I go to this website, um, and one um, thing to mention is that in um, the examples that I'm going to show you, these are all open and um, you can view them publicly. Now, very often in embedded analytics use cases, you actually want to put your dashboards behind some kind of login. Of course, I can't show these because all of those examples are um, kind of confidential. So that's why the examples that I use here are open and free for everyone to access. And they should give you a taste uh, of what is possible with embedded analytics in Tableau. Now, the very first example that I have here is um, actually uh, from one of our customers at the Information Lab. It's from the European Investment Fund. And um, the European Investment Fund has a Tableau dashboard. And this Tableau dashboard has uh, one map. And this one map um, is accessed daily by hundreds of people. What we have in here is a fully interactive Tableau dashboard in a web page. So you can see I am at a website called EIF for SMEs. And the European Investment Fund has fully interactive Tableau dashboard here. So I could start drilling into this data and get some insight out of this. Now, um, this is um, some of the filtering you see here on the top. Or if you're familiar with Tableau, still Tableau's default filtering options. Now, if I click, for example, on, um, say, um, one of the countries, what will happen is that we now zoom in and we get on the top left here some breadcrumbs. So we've clicked on Europe and then we went to Germany. These are not uh, default Tableau um, kind of, um, what are they, like breadcrumbs. <laughs> uh, and what we can do here is this, this allows us to filter and actually go back to the filter state that we were in earlier. So we can see we went from the European level into the Germany level. Um, and now if I go back on Europe here, it actually applies a filter from the website. So you can see this is from the website and it applies that to the Tableau dashboard. Okay. Now, um, that is one example and I'll put this in the show notes. Another example um, that we have here in which uh, Tableau shows a lot during their Tableau conferences is um, this example from Purdue University. And embedded analytics is very popular in higher education. And what we see here is that uh, lots of universities um, have external facing dashboards showing, for example, student enrollment or um, information about graduation or research uh, awards. And that is what Purdue University has here. So on the top, we can start filtering for different types of university, of, uh, sorry, different types of dashboards. And then if we scroll down, we can see here, these are links to Tableau dashboards and they have little icons as well. Um, and those icons are generated uh, with Tableau's REST API. So you can generate these little thumbnails. So if we click on, for example, the student enrollment, we can see that this now, this dashboard will show up in this particular website. So we're in a website from Purdue University and we have a dashboard being displayed to us. Now, of course, we also now on the top have these buttons which are not native Tableau buttons. For example, uh, we can export to PDF and export a cross tab. And that is also a thing we're going to learn in this video series. We're going to learn about how to create these buttons and how to interact with the dashboard. Now, one other example that I want to take a look at is um, an example where Tableau is not being embedded in, well, it's still embedded in a website, but it's embedded into Mapbox. And this has been created by my colleague, Hashem. And what we have here is this is a, a scrolly telling example. So scrolly telling is a very popular way of um, do guided analytics where you guide the reader um, through your analysis. And this is created with Mapbox. So what we have here is if I scroll down, the actual um, visualization at the back of this web page changes when you start scrolling down. Now, what we have here is uh, we can see that there is a chart here. And what Hashem did is he included this. And uh, you can see this is a Tableau dashboard coming from Tableau Public embedded in a Mapbox scrolly tallying. So if I scroll a little bit further, you can see that while scrolling, the map changes, which is done by Mapbox. 
but then we still have here the options to interact with a Tableau dashboard. So that means you can combine Tableau with lots of things. In this case, it's Mapbox. Uh, we've seen examples from other people in the Tableau community, including um, using D3, which is a um, another JavaScript library to create interactive visualizations. And you can do all kinds of things with this embedding. So it's not only limited to embedding a simple web page. You can fully interact with the rest of the web page. Now, what we'll do in uh, the next video is we're going to take a look at how to start using this Tableau JavaScript API. In the next video, we're going to look at um, the tools that I tend to use when I do embedded analytics. Um, and we're going to use um, a Tableau public dashboard. And we're going to start very slow. We're going to first learn about kind of the, the building blocks of a web page and how to put a dashboard in that web page. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video.